I find pulling it towards me feels safer. Hey everybody, Lux into Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. I recently decided to place an order with the Stainless Depot for some 35 ounce skinnies because it's so big. No. So this is a glow cup and it's also intended for sublimation, but I'm not going to sublimate on it. I have already put a layer of resin on this and into the layer of resin, I mixed some 504 from Mr. Nola's glitter. So it's all nice and sparkly already. And it has a very smooth surface because it has resin on it. The glow surface was a little textured, a little rough. So I didn't want to wrap any vinyl on that. I wanted a nice smooth surface. And now we are going to put, oh, there's a bug in here. Oh. Anyway, we're going to put some vinyl on it. This is also from Mr. Nola's Glitter. This is a special material sticky sheet. These are tagged SM. When you look at the whole catalog they have, you will see some marked SM, and that stands for special material. In a very recent video, I used this special material vinyl on a different tumbler. This is a, more of a chrome situation. This is more of an opalescent background that's sh color shifting. It's just, it's really stunning. And I wanted to put it on this and I wanted to, I'm going to do a full wrap. I mean, it's just, it's too pretty not to be all over a cup. This is a see-through. It's a, even though it's printed on an opal material, it is basically a peekaboo. Let me show you before we get to it. So the roses are printed on white, but the rest of the special material is see-through. Because I'm gonna use an edge trimmer on both the top and the bottom, I am not gonna worry a lot about making sure this is lined up perfectly. I mean, I will, but you know, I won't sweat it if it's off a little bit. Some of the backing paper. And then putting this on here. Let's see how it's going to go. Oh, pretty darn close. That'll that'll do fine. I'm going to cut around the top and then we will in around the bottom and then we'll do we'll get out the edging tool. This just makes it easier to lay flat on the tool. Alrighty, fresh blade. What we're going to do is put the cup up against the blade at the seam. And I just pick the seam because that's an easy way to tell when you've been all the way around. And you can either push it away from you or pull it towards you. I find pulling it towards me feels safer. Hold it against the blade while you're turning and you cut a nice straight line of, in your vinyl. the top rim. Let's do the same thing on the bottom. All right. I am going to put holographic tape on here. We have blue and purple in the opalescent background. So we can do pink. We can do gold. Let me know down in the comments section which, which color pinstriping you would go with if you were doing this cup. I am going to go with blue. All right, now I just need a graphic. And we're back. Okay, I really struggled with this once again. It's where I seem to have the most trouble figuring out the decal, unless I know what the decal is before I start making the cup. But usually it's it's this way around. I make the cup and then it's like, okay, now what? And I went through all my graphics, which takes a while, and I couldn't find anything I really liked. I'm just showing you that I have the seam at the back, so this is the front. And I've decided to just go with one of my uh, collection of snarky sayings that I have for purposes like this. <laughs> so we're going for right about here. This is called Style Tech 2000 Glitter Adhesive Vinyl. I got it from 143vinyl.com. It, um, 
it requires a heavier cutting setting than just putting glitter vinyl. That didn't work. I had to cut it. What did I use? Sparkle textured vinyl. And I had to s switch it to the more setting instead of the default setting. So it's a, it's a thick vinyl. So there she is, 100% that bitch. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put a layer of resin on this and then it'll be reveal time. I will put into the final layer of epoxy resin more 504, plus that'll help hide some of the flaws. <laughs> Always a good thing.